Hello and welcome back to the Multimedia Labs CapCut tutorial series. In this video we're going to be learning how to actually assemble our clips. So first off, with the information we learned in the previous video, we're going to go up here to our stock videos or you can go to your media tab if you already have videos uploaded there. And you're going to go ahead and I'll go ahead and pick this clip right here of this dog. I'm going to go ahead and drag it right here and there we go. The video is now on our timeline. Once your video is on the timeline, we're going to go ahead and learn how to actually cut it. So there's a few different ways that you could go about this in CapCut, and this is pretty ubiquitous across all video editing programs. So first off, we need to click our clip and then drag the playhead, which is what this is right here. This is what determines where you are in your video. I'm going to go ahead and drag it right here and for this case we're going to go ahead and go right to the middle here and once we're there they're up in the top left there's the split tool which is going to cut the video right where you have your playhead selected so i have it right here i'm going to go ahead and go right here split so you can go ahead and click that or press command b if you're on a mac control b if you're on a windows computer and select and now we have two separate individual clips. So why would we want to cut the clip in this way? Well, it all depends on what you're editing, but say we wanted to make kind of like a montage of different animals in this case, since we have a clip of a very cute dog on the timeline. So since we already have it split down the middle here, I'm gonna go ahead and just click the second clip and delete it. And then I'm gonna go to my search elements tab up at the top and I'll type in cute dog. Cool, as you can see, there's a plethora of options here. And this guy looks pretty, actually, no, we're gonna go ahead and go with this guy down here. Let's go ahead and drag it down to the timeline again. And now we have a, a clip of this dog right here and this one right here. So, Dragging it further in the playhead, we can just find a good spot to cut, and it gets blurry near the end there, which we don't really want. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and another thing to note is to split it, you need to have the clip selected in the first place, otherwise CapCut's not going to know what to do. So you can either do what I mentioned, which is hitting the split tool or command B, or we can go ahead and drag it back to where the playhead is and that'll just automatically shorten the clip without making individual clips. So this is a little long, so we're gonna drag this all the way back right here. So it's about four seconds long, which is decent, which is what we need. And this one is also just a tad long. Actually, no, I think that's good. So let's go ahead and just play that. Perfect, so now we have two clips of very cute dogs. And maybe let's add a cat. Cute cat, not just a cat. Perfect. So we drag that onto the timeline. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the split tool here. Highlight our second clip, delete. Perfect, now we have three clips, which is now kind of like a little bit of a montage. So if you wanted to spice it up a little bit, instead of just having straight cuts to three different clips, we're gonna go here to our transitions tab. And here we have a whole a range of different transitions that we can add to our video. So maybe let's just do something a little bit basic here. We don't need anything too extravagant. So I'm gonna use this mix transition right here. And wherever, this is a good point to mention, wherever you have your playhead selected is where the transition is going to apply. So let's go ahead and hit that right there. Drag it right there. And now we have transitions on our clips. So let's go ahead and play this through. So a pretty basic 
uh, cross dissolve between these uh, few clips here. And it's still a little long. So I'm gonna do the split tool, highlight, delete, highlight, split, delete, highlight, split, delete. So as you can see, our transitions disappeared. So when that happens, it's because you cut the clip, so the program doesn't know where to put the transitions again. So you're going to need to put the transitions into the into your timeline again if you do make any changes to the length of your clip. So let's go ahead and drag this back down here. And again. And there we go. So we have about a five second little montage of a few, of a few different animals. Adorable. And if we really want to get a little nitty gritty with it. We'll go into the audio here, which is there's a whole litany of different music tracks that we could select here to add onto our video. And these are all copyright free. So if you post this on Instagram, TikTok, X, whichever platform you choose, it's not going to get flagged for copyright, which is very important. So let's go ahead and play this song. Sure, why not? Let's put that down here. So you're going to need to put your audio below your video and the program is going to make an audio track for you right below your video track. So let's go ahead and hit play. And there we go. We have a very short, but we have a video and we can keep on adding over and over again to this uh, to make it whatever you feel like making it. So there we go. That was a little bit of a quick little rundown on how clips work in CapCut, how to add them to your timeline, how to cut them, assemble them, split them, whatever you need to do. And we even looked a little bit into the music section of, of the program and the transitions. So thank you for watching. This was the Multimedia Labs tutorial on CapCut Part 2, and we hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.